Hello guys, welcome back again. This time we will look at how we can start programming in C++ inside uh, uh, Visual Studio 2019. You know, as you all know, I mean if you're watching this you probably know what C++ is. It's an object-oriented programming which is very synonymous with performance and it's also platform agnostic so basically you can use most of your code line to run on most devices or most platforms but this is basically not what we actually doing now all we need to do here for this video is get started with C++ on the new Visual Studio 2019 so I'm just gonna pop out here um, I've actually got um, Visual Studio 2019. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna sh show you something very quickly. Um, you go to new project. new project so we, we check the languages here we select the C++ so as you can see we, we, I don't we I don't have um, the C++ installed so if you don't have it installed this is what you can do to get it installed if you have the Visual Studio 2019 installed then you probably have the installer so you just type in here um, installer so I'll get the installer pops out here as you can see I've, I've got an update that I need to do but this is what we will do if you have it here I'm just gonna go modify So here, as you can see, we've got this bit selected here. So um, desktop development with C++. We can click on this bit here. So scroll down, see mobile development, C++, game development, C++, and all that. We're just going to select a bit of the C++. That will certainly come with it the C++ is installed um, see the installed feature so what I'm going to do I'm just going to check this part here quickly scroll down so here we've got a couple of C++ stuff so I'm just going to click on this this one here this one here this bit here so we, we come back here and we can click on that, that so once you click on that modify bit here we will get the whole thing start so so we can come to this bit here, we close that, okay that's closed. So we get the whole thing installed, so I'm just going to pause it. Okay, so now we've got the whole thing installed, so what I'm going to do is just going to close the installer. And then um, I've got this um, console app here, so it's just not part of it. So what I'm going to do is just start a new. Um, open a new project dialog and this is what I'm going to do, we just go back to the language geez. so as you can see now, now we've got um, C++ project templates so we're just going to select the, um, the console app so we're just going to like just leave it as console application 1 
so as you can see now we've got this project template that actually prints out it actually prints out um, hello world and then it's a new line so what I'm gonna do is just gonna run it yeah so as you can see it's hello world with um, all that kind of thing which is not necessary so as you can see is 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 very it's fairly simple to get started and these are all the external dependencies so we will look into it as we get on further so i hope this helps you to get started with your c plus plus if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do and um have a lovely day morning afternoon wherever you are peace